Welcome to Amsterdam, the vibrant capital of the Netherlands, a city brimming with stunning historic architecture, world-class museums, and captivating art galleries. The city rings with bicycle bells and the sound of water splashing against the canal walls as tourist boats glide through its many iconic spots. As the renowned author John Green wrote, some tourists think Amsterdam is a city of sit, but in truth, it is a city of freedom. And in freedom, most people find sin. So join us as we embark on a journey through this enchanting city, uncovering its hidden gems and celebrated landmarks in a video perfectly suited for first time visitors. How and why did Amsterdam become the city of canals? Which Dutch foods should you try while visiting? Where to see some great views of the city? We'll answer all of these questions today, so keep watching. And we will start in the heart of the city, the old center. Amsterdam's historical center is one of the best preserved and largest in Europe. The city's history is reflected in all its parts. Located at the mouth of the Amstel River, the area was prone to flooding until approximately 1270, when a dam was built and became the center of the settlement. Its location today is easy to find, since the dam square is still the beating heart of the city and a popular meeting spot. Visit the beautiful royal palace with its rich interiors, or wander into a church-turned-exhibition space next door. Believe it or not, this 15th century edifice isn't even the oldest church in the city. That title goes to the Odekerk, consecrated in 1306 and currently the oldest building in all of Amsterdam. It is also in the center of the Wallen, the infamous red light district. While the story of this aspect of Amsterdam's history is fascinating, we will be skipping it in this video together with the topic of the city's many coffee shops. Amsterdam offers many information centers and museums for visitors interested in these topics, and we encourage you to pay them a visit. What you shouldn't miss is enjoying a slice of traditional Dutch apple pie and a cup of coffee in the lovely shade of the old church. To learn more about unmissable Dutch foods to try in Amsterdam, simply keep watching the video till the very end. Just a stone's throw away from the Odekerk, you'll find the oldest remaining non-religious building, De Waag, on Neumarkt Square. De Waag used to be a city gate and a part of the city's walls, later repurposed as a weighing house. For a refreshing break in a calm oasis, visit the Begeinhof, a medieval courtyard with 17th century facades that offers a quiet retreat from the hustle and bustle of the old center. But maybe the hustle and bustle is what you're after. Let's take a look at the numerous shopping opportunities around Amsterdam's city center. One of the most famous shopping streets used to hold a cattle market in the Middle Ages. Kalverstraat, the cattle street, hosts all the usual international and local brands leading you to Calver Passage, a shopping center with a delightful cafe offering stunning views of the city. Speaking of great shopping centers, don't miss the Magna Plaza. This former post office building located just behind the Royal Palace boasts a magnificent neo-Gothic and neo-Renaissance architecture that earned it a spot on the list of the top 100 Dutch heritage sites. Yet, the most unique and world-famous shopping opportunity in Amsterdam does not even need a building to function. Make your way to the world's only floating flower market, the Blumenmarkt, and browse through fresh flowers, seeds and bulbs. As you can see, Amsterdam is no stranger to street and canal markets. The Nordermarkt, with a history dating back to the 17th century, welcomes shoppers every Monday and Saturday morning with an eclectic mix of antiquities, curiosities, vintage clothes and unique goods. With the Nordermarkt in Jordan and the 9th Streets District and its various artisan shops, it is very easy to combine a little bit of shopping with the exploration of Amsterdam's many canals and waterways. Let's now take a look at what they are and how we got here. 
Amsterdam boasts over 100 kilometers, or 62 miles, of the so-called grachten, or city canals. They form concentric half-circles around the old center flowing in and out of the A Bay. The vast majority of them are a result of an ingenious 17th-century city planning initiative that expanded Amsterdam beyond its medieval limits. The picturesque Amsterdam Canal District is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, offering countless scenic views. Do not miss the opportunity to experience the canals from aboard one of the city's many canal cruises. Admire the characteristic canal houses and their crooked architecture. Notice the cranes on the houses' gables, used to hoist valuable goods to the upper floors, and take in the intricate design of these narrow structures that often doubled as living quarters, warehouses, and places of business. To find out more about the canal houses, we highly recommend visiting the Grachten Museum and its unique multimedia exhibition focusing on the history of Amsterdam and its canals, all in a 17th century canal house with classical period rooms. What you will also notice a lot on the canals is yet another unique way of living with over 2,000 units in Amsterdam alone, the houseboats. To visit one and learn more about what this lifestyle entails, visit the Houseboat Museum, which aims to answer many of the most asked questions about life aboard these floating homes. By now, we have mentioned at least two fascinating museums, bringing to the front the fact that Amsterdam is also full of interesting galleries and world-famous museums, just like this one behind me. The expansive Rijksmuseum displays a collection of over 8,000 pieces of art and history in a magnificent 1885 building that earned its way onto the previously mentioned list of top 100 Dutch heritage sites. Here, you can marvel at historical artifacts and artistic masterpieces, including many works of Dutch masters like Vermeer or Rembrandt. For more modern art, visit the Stady Lake Museum, also located on Amsterdam's Museum Square. Get lost in the works of 20th and 21st century greats and delight in paintings, sculptures and even pieces of furniture. Another gem on the Museum Square is dedicated to a Dutch local and arguably the most famous painter in the history of Western art, Vincent van Gogh. Ah, oh, at the beauty of his work in a museum housing the world's largest collection of the artist's paintings. The third most visited museum in the Netherlands is the Anne Frank House, located in the same building in which the young writer hid during the Nazi occupation. For maritime enthusiasts, the National Maritime Museum is a must-see, easily recognizable by a large replica of the cargo ship Amsterdam moored by its walls. To get a better look at the vessel, climb onto the rooftop of the nearby Nemo Science Museum. Whether or not you decide to visit the inside, Nemo's roof is a fantastic free spot for photogenic views of Amsterdam. And while we're on the topic of views, Let's briefly mention a worthy entry on Amsterdam's best views list, the Adam Lookout. Perched atop a skyscraper just across the bay from the central train station, it offers amazing views in all directions as well as a restaurant, bar, and for the thrill seekers among you, a giant swing. Getting there is a breeze, thanks to Amsterdam's free and speedy ferries operating at all times of the day making the trip across the bay a hassle-free experience. But at some point, all of the sightseeing makes one pretty hungry, doesn't it? Let's take a look at the much-teased list of things to taste in Amsterdam. If Amsterdam's buildings and layout reflect the land's history, its cuisine does so even more vividly. For centuries, the Dutch have been seafarers, which is evident in their fish dishes. Herring has a characteristic place in Dutch cuisine, history, and even economic history. In the Middle Ages, the Dutch mastered the art of preparing and preserving salt herring, turning it into a booming export business. Visit one of the many fish stalls around Amsterdam and try raw herring in a sandwich with raw onions and gherkins. 
If you prefer your fish cooked, we recommend snacking on kibbeling, deep fried fish pieces, and a popular street food. Another great savory snack are the Dutch bitterballen, deep fried meatballs often served with fries and mustard. Peanut saute sauce is a key ingredient in this Dutch variant of loaded fries known as patatje orlog. The sauce originates from Indonesia and is another example of history reflected in cuisine as a legacy of Dutch colonialism. On that note, don't leave Amsterdam without trying the Rijstafel, a feast of rice and numerous side dishes originating from colonial era Indonesia. Get a sweet tooth? Dutch pancakes and poffertjes, small fluffy pancakes, are a must try. And don't forget the stroopwafel, a thin syrupy waffle, or the previously mentioned apple pie. No culinary tour of Amsterdam would be complete without sampling the world-famous Dutch cheese. From old Amsterdam to Gouda and Edam, these cheeses are national symbols and can be tasted and bought all over the city. But we recommend delving even deeper. When in Amsterdam, don't forget to take the opportunity to take a day trip to the surrounding areas. Guests traveling with J-Way Travel can take an amazing half-day tour beyond the city limits to the nearby countryside. Meet the cheesemakers, both human and animal, and learn how the traditional wooden clogs are created. Stroll around a quaint fishing village and, most importantly, marvel at the quintessentially Dutch views at Zanteschans, where the 18th and 19th centuries come to life. Visit an authentic Dutch windmill and discover more about their role in local life on your next J-Way adventure in the Netherlands. But those of you wishing to stay exclusively in Amsterdam don't have to worry. There are several old-timey windmills in Amsterdam proper. We recommend visiting De Hoyer, the tallest wooden mill in the Netherlands, and combining your visit with a sampler of beers in the craft brewery below. The mill is easily accessible by public transportation, but can be reached even faster if you adapt to the ways of the Dutch. Oh, hi! You wanted to know what the best way to explore Amsterdam is? Well, on a bike, of course. Because so far, we neglected to tell you one important fact. In Amsterdam, the streets are ruled by cyclists. With as many bicycles as total inhabitants, Amsterdam is one of the most bike-friendly cities in the world. And feats accomplished by Dutch cyclists often make their rounds on the internet. Thanks to 1970s local activism, bikes are absolutely integral to the lives of locals and we encourage you to experience Amsterdam on two wheels for yourself. Take a ride through Wandelpark, a large green public park with serene lakes, perfect for both exercise and some much needed relaxation. Here at J-Way Travel, we love planning unforgettable vacations for our guests and we would love to plan yours too. Why not combine your visit with neighboring Belgium and explore the fairy tale town of Bruges? Or extend your trip to include Paris and other stunning destinations in France. We are excited to craft a trip for you based on your individual interests and preferences. You can start by checking out some of our sample itineraries linked below. Visit jwaytravel.com to speak with our local experts and start planning your dream holiday today. We hope this video was a worthy introduction to the rich and charming city of Amsterdam, and we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Have you been? Do you plan a visit soon? Like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.